I see more people died than required. I'm sorry. I could not help myself. Welcome to Death or Taxes. Two things you are guaranteed to experience at some point. A quick nail check and then we will play. I'm over brew with a matte taco and gold flake taco sponged onto this nail. This looks so like classy New York bitch. I don't know what, what it is. I feel like a badass wearing this though. Also, I've definitely been nail oiling and wearing hand moisturizer and I did this manicure like three days ago. That's just kind of what happens when you put oil on anything matte. What's on my other hand? The same thing that's been on my hand for over a week or maybe two weeks. I just love this look so much, I can't take it off. I think I'm turning into a basic bitch, help me. I think I'm dying. You never thought you'd see cremes on me. I know, me neither. But sometimes you just gotta change it up. Gotta keep people on their toes, their toenails. Tea check, butterscotch chai tea. Okay, shall we play? I'm gonna game today, but it's gonna be a different type of game. It's like an ethics morality game that doesn't take the same kind of controller skills that I admittedly lack. Who's ready for death or taxes? Both of them are guaranteed. The Grim Reaper. Us. Begin the bureaucratic afterlife. Bureaucratic afterlife? I thought that was my current life. <laughs> I'm spawn number 12. You are in my office. Here to work as a Grim Reaper. Welcome to your new job. I mean, who does this in real life? I guess people on a jury where you have to decide whether someone gets the death penalty. Clear? <laughs> I mean, I have a lot of questions. I want to know why we're killing people. Your actions will have consequences. A, a fly just flew in my face. <laughs> What's going on? I will show you your workplace right away. Follow me. Can't wait to get to work. Well, this is exciting. So here's our first profile. Yataro Suwa, age 46, swimming coach. Although they hoped their teenage offspring would take more interest in swimming, their teenage offspring, you mean like their kids? <laughs> 66 years old, mayor. So are these my only options? I have to kill one of them? One human has to die. So what I don't have enough information on is why are these people in life-threatening situations? Can I choose like to let them both live? You, sir, may live and you, sir, may also live. And let's see what happens. Will I get fired? We'll find out on this episode of murder. Okay, we fax them, and I expect that'll take 24 hours to process. <laughs> Fate's office. How was your first day? The day was awesome. I didn't kill anyone. Grim, you cannot let everybody live. Trust me, and I will guide you. It will be for the benefit of everyone. What did they do? What is the life-threatening situation and why don't we have enough room for them to live? I know this is a game, but I'm like, g give me the, the detail. I don't want to choose. What is there to protest? If you refuse, someone else will take your place. And who knows what will happen then? Maybe they will do a proper job, yes? Just like the government, everyone is replaceable. Now I go to work. 8 a.m. I'm ready to kill. Simply is too logical. I, I know chat is like stop <laughs> Choose to kill everyone guys. So we have to kill one human with a tech background and this time Maybe I will listen to my boss just to see what happens Like is there a reward for killing someone an IT security tech background in their free time? They're developing a quantum firewall hoping that this piece of technology will help them get rich and go down in history Sounds like the Theranos girl. <laughs> okay, let's hold you aside, but you seem like a good candidate for death today. Nicholas, age 43, position spy. An undercover agent, not IT background. They're all gonna die, you're just choosing when? I mean, that could be true. Everyone is gonna die. Roberta Williams, age 44, narrative designer. Roberta enjoys crafting stories that make people feel all kinds of different emotion. Argue with nerds on cocker. What's cocker? <laughs> Is that like their version of Gawker? Can I just murder them? <laughs> We're gonna follow instructions today. I feel like doing my job. I wanna make my boss happy. We're gonna murder IT security girl. And we're gonna let the others live. So, did you follow the rules properly? I did. Great. 
Yes, everything looks to be in order. Where's my promotion? Continue the good work. What did the chemist say when they found two isotopes of helium? He he. <laughs> That's such a good joke, you're gonna live. We will be murdering the three people who win this poll. So everyone's gonna die except Jack. We've got our choice, we made this choice, and now we must live with it. Or die with it. <laughs> we have to get the Menchi bed set up for our office to make it a better place. It's bring your cat to work day. Let's go to work. I am such a freak. I like wanna, <laughs> I wanna go to bed and go to work immediately. <laughs> Story of my life. Good morning, Grim. Okay, see if we can clean up the mess from yesterday. That might give you just the boost you need. Do not forget, you may leave troubles behind, but new ones always lie ahead. Life never gets easier. It only gets harder. Name, Peter Fields, age 27, system administrator. You could be a choice to die. Got munchies for shark fin but can't find any that, that's literally never a problem i have had uh don 46 mobster okay do we have to read any further mostly trying to con the elderly into giving them money or having them buy fake insurance i think you're gonna have to die we have a lot of like maybe deaths on our desk antonio gramley 31 game developer this game <laughs> they love cruising around in their forklift at high speeds mm. Fuck, like all these people sound like we could murder them. <laughs> Menchi, what do we do? Menchi! So we're gonna let you live. But all the other ones are questionable. I don't like people who take advantage of the elderly. Scams, having them buy fake insurance. Someone tried to do that to my grandma once. Murder. <laughs> Even if we kill the mobster, someone will replace him. Like, I'm sure he has a son. We're gonna read about it on Instagram tomorrow. Should we kill Peter? Alright, so we're gonna save Peter. Thank you, chat. It is the end of the week. Your performance review draws near. How have I been doing? I think I've managed to follow the rules more or less. I might have slipped up once or twice, but... Interesting. Hmm. Yes. Your answer has been recorded for the psych eval. Now then. Wow, my employer is doing a psych eval. This is, this is not good news. <laughs> I am worried. You have performed adequately. That's it? Yes, basically. Unfortunately, adequate is not enough oh. for a raise. But I was hoping for a promotion. Does this game have an ending? I don't think so, right? There are multiple endings. Oh, that's kind of fascinating. Game developer struggles with getting multi-sensory gaming experience to work. It just feels like bugs crawling all over your skin. Oops, we let him live. Quarter for the day, three humans have to die. Spare any humans with a religious background. Getting back on track, love, fate. So three people gotta die. I've got five on my desk. Let's let's do the murders quick. Let's just bam, 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 pop them off. See if we can find, find the clues. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm, nothing about religion on a quick glance. Started their pilgrimage. Is that religious? Oh my god, I'm such a dumbass. Does that mean they're religious? <laughs> Chat, help me. I was not raised religious. I don't know anything. <laughs> religious pilgrim is gonna live. <laughs> Thank you, Chat. Doing my job for me. So there's only one person with a religious background that I can tell. But three people have to die. I mean, I'd personally, I'd rather send them to prison or just make sure that there's some mechanisms in place to make sure that they don't cause harm. Maybe they need some rehabilitation, but you know, this game is death or taxes. Where is the option that they pay higher taxes? I don't know, I'm still looking for it. <laughs> Professor of Economic Theory, known for being critical of exploitative structures and pushing for more wealth equality. Okay, you're gonna live. We stand. <laughs> Scholar, engineer, part-time musician. I see no reason to murder. We like the arts. I can't choose here, people. <laughs> okay, we're just, three humans have to die. I'm only gonna kill two people today. I'm sorry, boss. I failed you. Guys, we failed. <laughs> we're not getting paid today. I'm gonna have to call it a day though, but first let's see the cat. Cat, cat, yes, cat, cat. The cat does not have a voice. I just wanted to hear what the cat sound like. 
The cat sits behind the table, very serious and official, like ignoring my presence. <laughs> the cat gave me $300. I love this cat. Menchie, we're rich. I think we're gonna call it a day at the office, a week at the office. We've done good, let's go to bed. I had fun. I'm a gamer now. If the game is about death, apparently I like it. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see y'all later. Chai!